What's up? I'm Alex the Entrepreneur. Since the dawn of time, man tolerated loading times. But not for much longer! In this video, I'll show you how I was able to reduce loading times by using React, Redux, and most importantly, Strapi when working with the decentralized finance startup Poly.Market. Polymarket uses Ethereum to create smart contracts based on Nosy's conditional token framework to create automated market makers. In English, Polymarket uses a recent technology to create automated market makers in which the price of shares reflects the demand of the shares. So the most popular share will be the one with the higher price. From my point of view, I had this black box, the smart contract, that does stuff and that takes a lot of time to load initially. While active traders will still need the on-chain data to load, most visitors will need to be able to see the markets before they even consider being willing to trade. So what I did is I used tech that I knew, such as Strapi, to prefetch market data so that we will have the application load faster. This approach proved to be an efficient starting point as we cut down the initial loading of market data from tens of seconds to just a few seconds. However, with the increasing amount of markets, uh, the payload size started growing and as such our loading times suffered. And I believe this was mostly caused by the addition of us tracking graph data. To display graph data, I created hourlies and dailies which are collection types aimed at recording the market price at a specific time. Again, this saved tons of math and simply made sense. The problem is that by default, Strapi will include your relations along with your collection type. So in my case, I was downloading markets data, which also contained the graph data, and then I was completely scrapping the graph data, and then I was reloading the graph data separately. What I tried first was a simple privacy-based technique that I teach in the Complete Strapi course. I used the private set to true setting in my markets.settings.json file to hide the hourlies and the dailies from the market payload. This proved beneficial for reducing the payload size. And yet, something was off. Loading times were still fairly high. Next, I looked into my local requests. Even with minimal amount of data, my database and requests being local, the requests were still taking over 600 milliseconds, an eternity in localhost times. Additionally, I was looking at my PostgreSQL query report and noticed that all my queries were really fast. This made me scrap the theory that my servers were poorly set up. The servers and the database were fine. There had to be something else causing the slowdown. Next, I replace the custom controllers for markets.find. Strapi contains what are called core controllers. These are the default behavior that is executed when you make a request to the Strapi API. Basically, this functionality is generic and is not specific to our use case. That means that you can squeeze out tons of performance by customizing them. In my case, the market object was used to serve as a placeholder for the on-chain data. This allowed faster load times and gave the feeling of a snappier application. Eventually, the on-chain data will load and will override this, but using the API allowed for a faster initial load. I was making a request that filtered for active markets sorted by volume, but I thought we may still need to use other filters. So instead of our coding a specific request, I wrote a custom find controller that only changes the second parameter of the core find service, the populate parameter. Populate specifies the depth in which Strapi will load the relations for your content type. Since I have a separate request to load graph data, I set the populate to be an empty array. This not only kept the small payload size, but improved loading times massively. In the case of localhost, loading times went from around 5 seconds to just 50 milliseconds. We basically got Strapi to make a single database request and return it immediately. This, along with the app architecture based on Redux Funk, allowed us to give an insanely fast first paint, adding away the slower but still necessary on-chain loading. To summarize the techniques that I used in this video, I used the network tab to get an initial idea of what was low in our application, and then used Postman to interact with the API. Then I used the private field set to true to hide fields from the API, reducing payload size. 
Then I customize the default core controller to have an empty populate parameter. This way, Strapi only makes one request to load the market's data, making the payload very compact while improving load times by over 10 times. I truly hope this video inspires you to experiment with Strapi. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Strapi, then check out the complete Strapi course. It's the ideal course if you're trying to build a more ambitious project as a sole developer or small team. Click the link in the description to check it out. Please take the time to subscribe and like the video, it means a lot, especially considering how long this video took me to make. Use the comments to let me know which topic you want me to cover next, and have an amazing day.